What's up guys, Blacker Bricks here, back with another video, and as you can see right in front of me here, I have a Lego catalog, but not actually one, but two catalogs. Now this is the late holiday 2020 catalog on the left, and the Christmas 2020 catalog on the right. Now you might think that this one would have come first, but interestingly the Christmas catalog actually came first, so we're going to take a look at this one first. Now on the cover we have the Elf Clubhouse, which is a part of the Winter Village collection. I really like that uh, style and really just everything about the set really, really jumps out to me. Parting out wise, I don't know if this is the best set. Um, investing does seem like a very, very good set. Um, I don't believe I will be picking it up now. Uh, maybe waiting in the future for it to go on a sale. Now this spread kind of opens up just a bit and we just have everything uh, about the Elf Clubhouse. Uh, it comes with $100 or comes for a hundred dollars with 1197 pieces we have a little bit of a gifting guide over here and uh this uh, hashtag build to give so they're they're trying to give back and um, bring joy to one million kids around the world i think that's a really really nice thing so they're saying for every ornament you build and share using hashtag build to give will donate a lego set to a child in need of play i think this is a wonderful initiative and I definitely like to help. I think you guys should all check it out as well. Very, very cool initiative by Lego. Here we have some Christmas related sets. We have the Snowmer Snowman and Reindeer Duo, Nutcracker, the Christmas Santa and Reindeer Ornaments, and then the new Wreath 2-in-1. Here we have a couple of the advent calendars, Harry Potter, City, and Friends. Interestingly enough, they have excluded Star Wars from this page. Not 100% sure why, but we'll maybe see that later. We have the Winter Snowball Fight, which is new for this year. And we have this uh, kid that was also in the last catalog, I think. Some Duplo sets, Bulldozer. We have the City Central Airport, Friends, Stephanie's House, Batboat, Penguin Pursuit, Stormfighter Battle. Here we have uh, some classic... The gray, blue, green, and white base plate are all available. We have the Bricks and Animals for $60. Another really great set that I think is actually on sale on some websites. I think Walmart specifically. Here we have Bricks, Bricks, Plates, which is, I think, new for this year, I believe. And then we have some of the city sets, which are, uh, nationally, are partnered with National Geographic. And I think we have a Hammerhead Shark in there. We, I believe, is that a Stingray? Um, doesn't look like a manta ray, so yeah, that's a stingray. A uh, little crab in there. Very, very cool. Fantastically designed set. Here we have some more stuff for City. We have Passenger Airplane on the left and Main Square, which unfortunately doesn't seem to be doing the best among customers. I saw that the reviews weren't the highest, and I do understand that some people may be disappointed by some of the slightly misleading uh, inclusion of this rail over here, uh, the monorail in the picture. And uh, it's not actually included, so I can see why some people might be a bit disappointed about that. Um, here we have some Creator 3-in-1 sets, the Space Rover Explorer, and the Caravan Family Holiday. On the right, we have some Disney sets, Rapunzel's Tower and Belle's Castle Winter Celebration. Some friend stuff, uh, a lot of, I think these are also partnered with National Geographic. We have the Baby Elephant Jungle Rescue, Tiger Hotter Balloon Jungle Rescue, Alpaca Mountain Jungle Rescue, and I, I think I'm starting to see a, a bit of a theme. It seems like they're rescuing animals from all over the world, and that's super, super cool. We have the Jungle Rescue Base and the Panda Treehouse. Here we have some more friend sets, the uh, Heartland City Park Cafe, Beach House, Party Boat, Summer Fun Water Park, which actually looks pretty cool, and Emma's Fashion Shop. Here we have, I think, Dots, which I think is actually a really, really neat theme. I like that they sort of incorporate the uh, whole, like, the friendship thing and the colorful stuff. I, I think even if you might not be interested in the sets, the parts and the new colors are just really great. You can see we have some beautiful, um, I think that's sand green tiles, and I really, really... I'm happy that they released sand green tiles, quarter tiles. Those are one of my favorite colors. Um, we have jewelry box, desk organizer, creative picture frames, bracelets, mega pack. I think that's on sale. Power bracelet and rainbow jewelry stand. This, this might be on sale as of today on target.com. So check that out. Here we have Ninjago, one of my favorite themes. And um, I think it would be appropriate for me to uh, uh, mention because I am recording this currently on November 22nd. 
that Kirby Morrow recently passed away. And I, I, I don't think it's appropriate for me to mention Ninjago without uh, mentioning that he, that he passed away. And this has definitely been a, a, a terrible, terrible news. I was super, super sad to hear this. And I, I think it's appropriate that I should probably talk about this in a separate video. I really do want to make a tribute to him because he is a voice actor and an actor that has really influenced a lot of young people. Um, it was so sad to hear of his passing. And I don't want to make this entire video sad or just about him, but I think it's important to mention that. So as we continue, we take a look at some of the sets. We have Wu's Battle Dragon, Spinjitzu Burst, Skull Sorcerer's Dragon, Soul Sorcerer's Dungeons, and then Zane's uh, Mino or Mino creature. Um, here we have some Mario sets. The Lego NES. Um, we have Adventures with Mario Starter Course. Some more of his expansion sets. Uh, we have the Boomer Bill Barrage. Mario's House in Yoshi. Bowser's Castle Boss Battle. Um, and then here we have some uh, power-up packs. We have the Fire Mario, Propeller Mario, Cat Mario, and Builder Mario. I think this is the most I have ever said Mario in the span of five minutes. We have the Toad's Treasure Hunt. And uh, here we have, I believe, Monkey Kid. Sandy Speedboat, Monkey Kid's Cloud Roadster, and the Flaming Foundry. Here we have the Ferrari F8 Tributo, the Nissan GTR Nismo, or Nismo, the 1985 Audi Sport Quattro S1, the Lamborghini Urus STX, Lamborghini Huracan Super Trofeo EVO, the Formula E Panasonic Jaguar Racing Gen 2 Car and Gen Jaguar I-Pace E-Trophy. Very long name. Here we have JB Submarine, the Mystery Castle, and some Harry Potter as well, Ford Privet Drive and Hogwarts Room of Requirement. Two very, very good looking sets. Here we have Diagon Alley, massive, massive set, still prominently featured. The Moz Eisley Cantina with a nice black background. Uh, some more very attractive black backgrounds. The Boba Fett and Stormtrooper helmet, and then the A-Wing Starfighter. Um, some new Mandalorian related sets. Mandalorian and the Child Brickheads, and then the Razor Crest. Uh, I think season two is streaming now on uh, Disney Plus. New episodes every Saturday or Friday, I think. Um, the At At, uh, BB 8, First Order Stormtrooper, Knights of Ren Transport Ship, Death Star Final Duel, and Anakin's Jedi Interceptor. Here we have some more Batman stuff Batman Joker, Mobile Bat Base, and 1989 Batwing. Here we have the Iron Man Helmet, Iron Man vs. Hulkbuster versus aim agent so these are all i think um these aren't new they came out earlier this year we have the avengers tower battle and the iron man armory these have quite a few mocks in them so that's cool we have some vip rewards which uh, are to be announced and uh, black friday offers start november 21st and they uh start on november 27th for everyone else so here we have the mindstorms five and one Tokyo, Dubai, and White House from Architecture. Uh, the 6x6 Volvo Articulated Hauler from Technic. Um, well, pretty good price to part ratio on that one. The Chevrolet Corvette ZR1, Dom's Dodge Charger, and the Lamborghini Scion FKP37. Still more Technic, we have the Concrete Mixer Truck over here, the Dragster Race Truck, and the Catamaran. That was a weird way of reading it, but no worries. And finally, ideas. Some exciting stuff. ISS. Pirates of Barracuda Bay, and the Grand Piano. I think both of these are sold out on LEGO itself because they have been quite popular. And uh, some of the art sets. We have Andy Warhol's Marilyn Monroe, Marvel Studios' Iron Man, Star Wars' The Sith, and, of course, the Beatles. Finally, we have some modulars. And be aware that this may be retiring... Oh, actually, maybe not. Maybe... Maybe I was thinking about the wrong one. I think it's the downtown diner that's retiring. So these should be still available throughout the year. Maybe they'll go on sale this year. Who knows? Um, I don't know. We have the Old Trafford Manchester United and uh, some, I think, space over here. NASA Apollo 11 Lunar Lander is still available for sale. I think this is going to retire this year for sure because the 50th was last year. Um, Crocodile Locomotive. Wow. A lot of gloss on that page because it's so dark. Here we have the roller coaster, haunted house, and that brings us to almost the end. Some legendary rides. We have the Ford Mustang, James Bond, Aston Martin, DB5, Fiat 500, and Harley Davidson Fat Boy. Finally, on the back, we have the Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse buildable characters. So that's it for this one.
Now, I am already quite tired of talking just in the last 10 minutes, so if there are repeated sets from this other catalog, I will not be going over them, uh, unfortunately. But I'm sure you guys won't have too much of a problem with that. The cover on this is going with that theme of building, I guess, rebuild the world. We have some kids, I guess, with some larger than usual Lego elements. That's super neat. And some sets around them. I think that's really cool. Nice mint green background. Okay, so I'm going to look over this before I go into this. But we have the winter snowball fight. And okay, so I went over all of that. Again, they are promoting the Elf Clubhouse. And I think the the picture might actually be different for these two. Or maybe maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, it's the exact same. Okay, never mind. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, that's the same. We have, I think, the same thing over here with the little guide. Now, this is going to be our Black or Brick Friday section. I don't know if I can take this out. I think I might be able to. So, I'm just going to just peel that out. Uh, it's just actually just stuck there. So this video will probably be coming out on the 22nd, as I stated earlier. So some of the uh, VIP weekend deals will still be available. I do apologize if anything is out of stock. Uh, there's nothing I can do about that, but hopefully this video will still be helpful. Let me just put this aside for just a second. And this is your guide to Lego Black Friday 2020. If we just open that up from the 21st to the 22nd, so yesterday and today, you will get a free exclusive 2x4 brick with purchases over 200. Obviously, this is while uh, supplies last. Now, we also have double VIP points on all orders and the free exclusive Charles Dickens tribute on purchases over 150. Um, it, it, it points over here, but I don't see any picture. Oh, what am I saying? It's right here. Um, now, interestingly enough, it also appears that this is going to be available from the 27th to the 30th. So this is available both the 21st to the 22nd and the 27th to the 30th. Um, my local Lego store actually ran out of these. Um, I, I called yesterday at like 5 o'clock and they said, yeah, we're all out. So it seems like it's pretty popular. Uh, already worth $40 on Bricklink. And I can see it going up even more. Very clever to use the uh, fluted bricks as book pages. Very, very cool. And uh, here we have prominently displayed the new Coliseum available November 27th. Uh, this is retailing for $550, and VIPs only will receive this little set only, 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 only with the purchase of the Coliseum. So just the exclusivity will probably result in this blowing up in value, and I gotta say, the Coliseum looks great. It is very, very pricey. $550 for a Lego set is huge. That's, I mean, you can get a lot of stuff with $550, so... I'm not going to say you have to go out and get this. It's up to you. Uh, I think it seems cool to me. I don't even know if I'll be getting it just yet. Here we have the uh, free exclusive holiday tree. Um, it, they didn't say Christmas tree, so I guess non-denominational, just holiday tree. Uh, available from the 27th to the 30th. And this is important, only available at Lego stores. Now, once again, I, I, I don't really support the idea that they're doing uh, uh, in-store exclusives because I don't think it's a good idea, especially with COVID-related uh, closures and the fact that in the United States, the cases are increasing, unfortunately. So we'll see. Perhaps they might change that. Uh, unfortunately, I haven't seen them change this in the past, so really only time can tell what's going to happen next. So back to the catalog. I really do wonder if there's anything new in here. This is sticky, so I hope that doesn't create a problem. Maybe I'll just do it like that. I don't know. We'll see. Um, Diagon Alley. Uh, so this wasn't in the last catalog. At least these two weren't. We have Hedwig and the uh, Hogwarts Astronomy Tower. These two I just reviewed. Um, here we have, I think, a new set, the Child and the Armored Assault Tank and the Mandalorian Battle Pack. This was featured previously. The um, helmets again, Anakin's Jedi Interceptor, and the Death Star Final Duel. We have the new Batwing, and um, what else do we have? Some more Super Mario stuff. Uh, Mindstorms. Ghostbusters is new. Just came out. $199.99. Very cool. I see uh, GM, so I think that's Columbia Pictures. I don't know why everything is GM, though. Uh, very cool set, $200, 2,352 pieces. Some more repeated stuff. VIPs, have you checked out the reward center lately? And just some stuff like that. What else do we have? Some Ninjago. 
And I think, yeah, a lot of this stuff is just repeated. Here we have the dragster, and actually that was there before. The mini class X or Zerion wasn't there. Um, we have the Emma's Fashion Shop and Beach House, which actually I think I did cover them. Starting to forget what I have and haven't covered. Some more friends set, Flower Garden, House, Friendship Bus, Water Park. And this is actually pretty funny. <laughs> Nature glamping. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the term glamping. It's just like when you go camping, but like you bring a lot of stuff and you have like a fancy, fancy equipment. So it's like glam, glamour, glamorous camping, I guess. Um, we have jewelry box, pineapple pencil holder, bracelet mega pack, main square again, uh, keychains, some more Disney. Uh, so here we're actually just looking at themes. Duplo, Classic, Minecraft Creator, Monkey Kid, Art, and Jurassic World. Break gifts under 15. This is actually cool. We have some storage heads. We have the Fairground minifigure accessory pack. Dots notebook. Pencil box with minifigure. And does this open? I think it's just... It says experience what's inside. Do I, do I have to open this or anything like that? I doubt there's anything inside this. It's just like strangely... Um, no, there's nothing inside. Just just kind of big paper. The Grand Piano and the International Space Station. And on the back, we have the new Sesame Street. So yeah, that's it for both the catalogs. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, please uh, consider subscribing if you enjoy this sort of content. I will be having another video coming out today. That'll be uh, Lego buying and selling vlog number three. I really hope you guys are enjoying making, uh, watching those videos because I really, really enjoy making them. And uh, I think that really wraps up today's video. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and have a great day.